Correlated Magnetics has made a new invention in the area of magnets. We've invented a way to customize the feel and function of magnets. These two magnets started out life as standard magnets, and we've magnetized them with our technology. And we've turned them into what we call polymagnets. Unlike a conventional magnet that has one north and south, a polymagnet has a pattern of norths and souths on them. These two magnets are clearly attracting, but notice they didn't go all the way together. Interestingly, they're attracting and repelling at the same time. We call these spring polymagnets because they act like a spring. There's a range of spring polymagnets available in the polymagnet catalog, and each exhibit different resting distances and different amount of forces as you pull them apart or push them together. Next up is the latch demonstrator, which is the other black demonstrator. And this one is clearly repelling until you get it to a very precise distance and then it attracts. It's actually the inverse or the opposite of the spring polymagnet demonstrator. That one attracts until it repels and this one repels until it attracts. And unlike a standard magnet, which only behaves one way, these can be programmed for the transition distance, the forces involved, and it can even be tuned for the feel that a product designer is looking for. If you want to see the pattern that's on a polymagnet, you can use magnetic viewing film. If you look at a standard magnet, you'll see a circle, and that circle is around a pole. It's either a north or a south pole. But if you take a look at a polymagnet, you'll see a complex pattern. And each one of those circles represents a pole, either a north or a south pole. This is a demonstration of the aligned polymagnet function. Aligned polymagnets either center or have rotational alignment or lateral alignment capabilities. In this demonstrator, these two magnets center, but they also have a detent feel or a line every 120 degrees. Now, they can be defined to align at different uh, angles. Could be 27 degrees and 137.4. It could be 360 detents around the whole, uh, the whole polymagnet. You can also define what happens in between the alignment points. They can hold with full strength when aligned, and they can have uh, less force holding together at uh, different points, and that can be defined as well. There's a range of aligned polymagnets in the polymagnet catalog. They come with different alignment points, and they also come in different sizes and shapes. This blue demonstrator is actually a good segue to another concept, which is that the different functions of polymagnets, like spring, latch, and align, are actually building blocks to create more complex functions. And if you look in the polymagnet catalog, there's a range of complex functions in there. This demonstrator uh, transitions from attract to repel every 90 degrees of rotation. It's a twist to release behavior. If you look at the pattern that's on this polymagnet, it's actually intuitive as to how it works. There are four 90 degree wedges on it of alternating poles. And while that's actually a simple pattern, it can only be magnetized with CMR's magnetization technology. And of course, the angles at which this transitions between attract and repel and the forces involved are all definable to create specific polymagnets. To level set, I'm going to now talk about the beige uh, demonstrator, which have standard magnets in them. And as you'd expect, they behave like standard magnets. They exhibit the attract and repel that we're very familiar with with magnets. Now, these standard magnets hold together pretty well, and while they kind of align, it's very easy to push them off center, and if you rotate them, they have no preference or no alignment rotationally. Why do they behave like this? Well, it's because they have one north and one south pole, so they either attract or repel. That's it. That's the beginning and end of their behavior. You can make the magnets smaller. You can make them, you can get them in different sizes. You can use different materials. Those will affect the strength and the distance with which they engage. But you still get that standard behavior for magnets that we're all familiar with. 
and which are very limiting if you're doing product development around magnets. Let's transition now. Everything I've been talking about up to this point has been magnet to magnet, or as we say, polymagnet to polymagnet. CMR's technology also applies to magnet to metal applications. And for this demonstration, I'm going to use the attach polymagnet, which is the orange polymagnet. But first, I'm going to start with the beige standard magnet. And you can see that this magnet attracts to this piece of metal from you know, a, a good distance away. And it, and it holds pretty well. Now, I'm going to contrast that with the attached polymagnet, which, if you notice, only attracts at a very close distance to this piece of metal. And that distance is definable. And it actually holds on much stronger. Pull tests show this holds on with five times the strength of the standard magnet. So why do these two magnets exhibit such different force on this piece of metal? They're actually the same material, and they're the exact same size and shape. And the answer is that the uh, way they're magnetized defines their differences. On the standard magnet, there's one north and one south pole. And there's only a very little bit of the field right up front of that magnet. On the attached polymagnet, there's a whole series of norths and souths. And that has the effect of pulling the field down right in front of the magnet. And therefore, that field can be used to hold on to this metal, and in this case, hold on much stronger than the standard magnet. If you take a look at this graph here, it'll show you how the fields get captured into the metal with the polymagnet in contrast to the standard magnet. Now I'm going to show you another demonstration with this, where I've got both of these magnets on this piece of metal. And if you take the magnetic viewing film and you look from the other side, you can clearly see that there's a field coming off the standard magnet. But notice that there's absolutely no field coming off the attached polymagnet. And that's because the attached polymagnet's field is getting completely captured inside the metal. Now take a look at the demonstrators with magnetic viewing film. The standard magnet has one north and south pole on it. And the orange attached polymagnet demonstrator has a series of north and south stripes on it. But take a look at the red demonstrator. It has a completely different pattern, and it demonstrates actually the concept of how you can tune a magnet for a specific feel and specific function. This polymagnet behaves similarly to the orange demonstrator, but it attracts from a different distance, and it holds with a different amount of force. Take a look at this graph here, and it compares a standard magnet to two different attached polymagnets. Polymagnets break the relationship between size, engagement, and strength and can be tuned to work in the context of a project, rather than having to take magnets the way they come. And that's the point that this demonstration kit can drive home, that polymagnets are fundamentally different from standard magnets. You can now customize the feel and function of magnets. Polymagnets and polymagnet demonstrator kits are available online, and they're an excellent way to experience the incredible new capabilities of polymagnets.